I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Happy, Happy Halloween, Halloween SHS. SHS. Theater Club will be meeting tomorrow, November 1st in the Little Theater from 2.45 to 4 for a Halloween-themed meeting. For any questions, ask club leaders Hallie Motter and Lindsay Cox. On Friday, November 1st, Strongsville will be hosting its first ever film club meeting in Ms. Riblet's room, 8.03. For our first meeting, we will be viewing and discussing two short films. Snacks will be provided. If you have any questions, please email Ms. Riblet or Tris Arthur. We hope to see you there. Attention skiers, snowboarders, and wannabes. SHS Ski and Snowboard Club is now taking registrations for the upcoming season. Information about SHS Ski and Snowboard Club is available on the SHS website. Always around the school or just stop by room 706 and talk to Mr. Mont. Attention seniors ju and juniors. ROCAP applications are now being accepted. ROCAP is a national honor society for the social studies. Applications will be accepted through October 31st and are available for on so the social studies department website. P print out and turn in your application to Ms. Papish by November 1st. Please see Mrs. Papish with any questions. Have, Have a, a great, great Mustang day. day. When most people think of Halloween, they think of trick-or-treating, parades, bobbing for apples, and other family-friendly activities. But bet you didn't know the true story behind the ancient origins of Halloween. It all goes back some 2,000 years to the ancient Celtic festival known as Samhain, celebrated on November 1st. On the night before Samhain, people believed that the dead returned as ghosts. They would leave food and wine on their doorsteps to keep roaming spirits at bay and wear masks when they left the house so they would be mistaken for fellow ghosts. The Christian church turned Samhain into All Saints Day or All Hallows in the 8th century. The night before became All Hallows Eve, later shortened to Halloween. You've heard of trick-or-treating on Halloween, but what about souling or guising? All three of these traditions originated in medieval Britain. On All Souls Day, November 2nd, the needy would beg for pastries known as soul cakes. In return, they would pray for people's dead relatives. This was called souling. In the medieval Halloween tradition of guising, young people would dress up in costume and accept food, wine, money, and other offerings in exchange for singing, reciting poetry, or telling jokes. In 19th century America, Irish and Scottish immigrants revived these old traditions. The result was trick-or-treating. At first, it was much more about the tricks, in the form of pranks and hijinks, than the treats. It wasn't until the 1950s that the custom took on its current family-friendly, kid-centered form. Today, Halloween is big business, with U.S. consumers spending more than $2.5 billion on costumes annually. Add in the candy, and it's estimated that Americans spend up to $6 billion on Halloween each year, making it the second most commercial holiday after Christmas. So whether you're a fan of tricks, treats, or trivia, there's a bit of Halloween history. We bet you didn't know!